Okay, so if you're coming in and you didn't hear me before, if you could get a pillow, um, could be a couch pillow, could be um, a bed pillow, anything that'll work, we're gonna use this to do some of our acrobat tricks safely. So if you could grab one of those, that'd be awesome. And we will go ahead and get started with some stretches. Um, go ahead and just kind of be mindful. Um, I see most of you are muted. So go ahead, hi. Hello. Hi. Go ahead and mute yourselves just so that we don't get too much extra background noise. Unless you have a question, then you can um, unmute. But let's go ahead and reach up nice and tall, get stretched out, up high. And stretch, you can tell your mom um, or your dad or sibling or whoever if you would like to get stars. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put our hand on our belly button and we're gonna stretch to the side. So we're gonna get a nice stretch on the side of our body. You should be feeling it here. Um, what I don't wanna see is you crunching over on top of your belly button. Your belly button should be facing the wall. And reach. And then we're gonna switch and go the other way. Reach, 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 reach. There we go. And then we're gonna take both hands up. And we're gonna reach back and look up at the ceiling. And then I wanna see some circles with our arms. You can call these hummingbird circles. You're just kind of drawing little circles. We're gonna build a little, little bit of strength, a little bit of tension. So go to the back, and then we're gonna to go to the front. Seeing some good movement, good. Nicolette, are you doing it with us? And then roll shoulders, make nice big circles with our shoulders. Roll them out. And then roll to the front. Good, good, good. And then we're gonna twist it out. Try to look behind you, get a nice stretch in your back. My bird is screaming, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> She sounds like a kid, but I promise she's not. She's a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and we're going to face one side. So I'm gonna face my right. We're gonna just stretch over our leg. Fold over it and make a triangle with your legs. And go ahead and lift your front toe. stretch a little further. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into our runner stretch. We're gonna stretch through all our splits to start today. So um, we're making sure that we have one hand on each side of our front foot and that our knee is not going past our toe. So stretch, stretch, stretch. We're gonna put our back knee down and we're gonna make our front leg go straight. We're not gonna go into our split just yet. We're just gonna reach over the top of our foot right here and point your front toe. And make sure when you're doing that, you focus on your pinky toe on the ground, not your big toe. Good job. Yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide into our split and I'm gonna to count to 15. So we're gonna go, um, try to get your front leg straight, both hands on the ground, one hand on each side, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, push up, push five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, let's stretch out our other side. So we're going back to um, our legs out wide, twist face the other way, and fold over our legs. And stretch, stretch, stretch. We're gonna lift that front toe to the sky. So we'll pick up those toes. Or, yeah. Now we're gonna go to our runner stretch. So sliding that back leg back, um, keeping a nice bend in our front knee and making sure our knee doesn't go past our toe. So one hand on each side and just kind of think into that. Okay, now we're gonna put our back knee down, not going into our split yet, just putting our front leg straight. 
pointing our toe and stretching over and getting a little bit more of a stretch in our, the back of our calf. Okay, now go ahead and slide into that split as best you can. So try to keep that front leg straight. Good, ladies, from what I can see. <laughs> I see your hand, Kendall, good job. <laughs> I know we were having trouble with getting the camera at the right angle earlier in class, so it's okay. Uh, all right, um, before we do our middle split, I want you to go ahead and go into your butterfly. Kind of stretch out here so your feet are coming together. Um, and you're just going to kind of gently press with your elbows on your knees. Um, if you'd like to, I know in class lots of times we talk about where we would fly. Um, you can tell your um, brother or sister or mom or dad. I know I've got a few, I think a few too many people to do that this time. But. Um, I'd love for you to tell them. <laughs> um, and uh, I will go ahead and tell you where I'm going to go. I would go to the walking trail near my house where I'm going to go. Miss Audrey, where would you go? I would go hmm, to Hawaii. Hawaii. That'd be a good one. Let's go ahead then and uh, take our nose down to our toes. We're gonna count to 10 and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're still gonna get our middle split in. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I see one more twin. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and do our sumo. So you're gonna put your hands um, on your knees and just kind of press your knees out. <laughs> Um, welcome, go ahead and join us. We're just doing our middle split stretch. So press your knees out. We kind of get a little bit of a twist in our shoulders. Twist, twist. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into our middle split, hands down on the ground. We're gonna keep our booties up off the floor and slide into that center split. So both legs are straight. We're gonna hold it for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ooh, excuse me, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do a bridge. Um, so I want you to lay it on your back. Um, you're going to flip your hands. So take your hands, if you're not sure, take your hands up in front of you where you can see them and flip them back by your ears. And from here, we're gonna push our belly button up to the ceiling and push with our arms and our legs and push up. And hold that for a few seconds. Um, what I, so go ahead and keep holding it. What I don't wanna see is pushing up this way, because this is not a bridge. <laughs> um, I think I see some good bridges though, yeah, good. Um, and make sure that you're not crunching your neck on the floor, so if you can't quite get up, Get your head off the ground. I don't want you to land on your head. Um, keep trying to push up. Good. Nicolette, did you do your bridge? Maybe. Should Look around, see how Huh? Oh, I'm cutting out a little bit. There you go, Nicolette. Good. Okay. Hi, Shire. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. Everything just kind of froze on my end for a minute. Okay, um, now's the time where you're going to go ahead and get your pillow. So everybody show me a pillow or a carpeted space, preferably at least. Um, we're going to put that pillow in front of you. There we go. Nice. Someone's got a JoJo pillow. That's awesome. Um, we're going to do our forward rolls. So you're going to go ahead and put your feet together in front of your pillow. Hands are going to go up. Put your hands down in front of it. And
and you're gonna tuck and roll. Reach your hands forward and stand up. You're gonna do 10 of those. So I know we're not on the mat. You're just gonna have to turn around and keep going. Um, and you're gonna have to count for yourself because I'm not gonna be able to tell if every single one of you did 10. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and go. Whoops, I'm too far forward. And this Audrey's gonna help. Good um, job. Fix. And if you feel comfortable with those, try and stand up without using your hands, like Miss Katie just did. Char, are you doing them with us? There we go. Good. Good job. I think I'm at like eight, so. Okay. Go ahead and thumbs up when you got 10. Get in there, thumbs up, okay. Well, I'm not like a physical thumbs up. You can just show me on the camera. It's a little easier. <laughs> but I like the emoji usage. Um, okay, so next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to work a little bit on our backwards rolls with our pillow, okay? So this is new for my virtual acrobat class, so make sure that you're going to start on your toes in front of your pillow. Pillow's behind you, okay? Um, I've done this before, just watch Miss Katie first. Yeah, we're going to put your arms up by your ears. So that is the most important thing here, okay? So I'm putting my hands up by my ears. I'm actually gonna tuck my chin down and I'm gonna keep my whole body as much like a ball as I can. Then I'm gonna roll back onto my pillow and use my hands to push myself the rest of the way over, okay? So I would like you to try about 10 of those. If you don't make it over, that's okay. You just landed on a pillow. Just give it a try again, okay? So what I really want to make sure, you're tucking that chin, you're going back and getting those arms to hit here so that you can push yourself the rest of the way over. Okay? Up uh, close. You want your hands like you start your bridge once you roll. There you go. Good, push. Charlie. Ground, and once you feel them firm, then push. There you go. <laughs> Also, well, yeah, so can make sure that your legs stay bent the whole time. Because if you're going over, and I go back and they push you, my legs are straight, and I get kind of stuck right here, right? So you gotta bend your legs so that you can actually stand up on them. Even though I did not stand up, but so you can stand up on them. Shire, make okay, sure you your hands right next to your head when you roll back. It'll make it so much easier. There we go. Pretty good backwards rolls. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh no, my computer froze. No, wake up, please. You're not frozen for me. Are you not? It's just my computer then. Okay. Then I'll just keep going. Um, okay. So, um, finishing up those backward somersaults. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to work on our bunny hops. So make, bunny hops or cartwheels. Whichever one that you are working on or whichever one you have space for. Um, go ahead and put your pillow on the ground. And you're going to um, put your hands on the pillow. Um, you can kind of do it a couple ways, whatever makes, makes you comfortable. You can go on the pillow and go over, or you can actually put your hands all the way on the other side of the pillow and go. And so um, I want you to um, practice doing cartwheels or bunny hops both sides on the e either side of that pillow. Um, hopefully ten, side, 10 on each side if you can count that, but we'll go for a couple of minutes. So just go back and forth. Build some strength in those legs. Can I do it without my pillow? Sure. As long as you got space and it's safe. 
I mean, yeah, sure. It's just something to kind of help you make sure that you're going all the way over something. Good, try and land on your feet. Good. There we go. Oh, land on those feet. Yeah, I was talking to you, Nicolette. Go back there and land on your feet when you do your cartwheel. Oh. <laughs> Good Shire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interception by the dog. Hey, this is looking pretty good. Oh, uh, Shire, you just need to make sure, there, there we go. Okay, so making sure when you're landing those legs that you're really using your strength to push yourself up to stand. That's something that we don't always think about. We think about our legs kicking up, but we don't always think about the landing pushing up. That's part of it. Go ahead, keep going. Get, um, get a couple more on each side, and then we'll switch to a different trick. But these are looking great. Oh, but we got to make sure your head doesn't go on the ground, whoever is on. Is that Olivia? Yeah. Try another one for me, Libby. Um, who is this? Huh? How do you start cartwheel? How do you start a cartwheel? You start with your toe pointed and your hands up straight, and you're gonna bring, I'm actually gonna move my pillow so you can see a little bit better. Um, you can bring your hands down on the ground, and you're gonna kick this back foot up and over. And then we're gonna come all the way back. Okay. I just yes. remember that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, give me a couple more. And again, make sure if you are uh, not muted to mute. <laughs> unless you unless you have a question. When you have a question, you can unmute. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. I got another thing on my list here. Um, okay, we're gonna do a couple of squat tuck jumps over our pillow. So we're gonna put our pillow in front of us right here. Boom. And we're going to do a squat. So our squat is going down nice plie next to us. We're gonna jump up, tuck jump, and then squat. And then come up, tuck jump, and squat. Um, if that's a little bit too hard, you can always just squat, jump, squat, jump, squat, jump, okay? It's your choice, but we're gonna do um, 10 of them together. Whichever one you need to do. So I'm gonna go up, that's one, down, that's two, down, that's three, down, down, that's four, down, that's five, six, seven, try to get all the way over your pillow, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Okay. From here, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of our um, donkey kicks or handstands. So you can put your pillow um, in front of you in case you start to go forward. But since we are at home and we're not on mats, I want you not to kick as hard as you can. So kick about um, maybe three fourths of the way. So you're gonna start with your toe pointed in front, hands up straight. Um, you're gonna land, kick up, and come down. And then just do that up touch. We're gonna try to do that one thing, is that our arms are staying straight and strong, okay? Because if our arms bend, our head's gonna come down on the ground. Um, go ahead and do that for a minute, I need to get a drink. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you're super straight. So try not to kick 
super hard so you don't go over. You don't, you kick about three fourths of the way up. <coughs> Yeah, I know I keep getting frozen. I can't do a whole lot about that. Um, but if, whenever I get frozen, just listen to Miss Audrey. She can help you so much when that happens. That's why there's two of us. Okay. Your donkey kicks. Shire, do you have a question? Uh, what are we doing? We're doing donkey kicks. So that's where you kick up three-fourths of the way up. <laughs> Okay. Nicola, keep going. Keep doing your donkey kick. Okay, another thing that we can Go ahead and try. It's a kind of donkey kick. It's to actually put your hands down and jump up your feet at the same time. So you can go up and land, up and land as far as you can go. That's helping us build core and tummy muscles. So get at least 10 of those in. So you just do the same thing. You just jump at two feet at the two feet at a time. Charlie, do you understand? Charlie, you do you understand? Yeah? Do you need another demonstration? I think Miss Katie's frozen. Again. Whenever we do the donkey kicks, are we going all are we going all the way up into our handstand? No, you're just you you're going when you do the two feet at a time, you're going as far as you can. But when you do one foot, you're only going about three fourths, okay? So not, not almost all the way, but not quite. Okay, can you guys see me? Yes. Okay, because it just bumped me off on my laptop. So I can, as long as you guys can still see me, I can keep going, but I lost you guys. So um, are we good on those donkey kicks? Did we do enough of them? I think so. Oh, now you guys are coming in and I see people laying on the floor. So I'm going to take that as a yes. Um, so let's go ahead to finish off. We're going to do a couple of balance tricks. Okay. So um, we're going to start with a candlestick because that was kind of a tricky one that we did last week. So you're going to lay on the ground. You're going to pull your um, arms underneath your hips and you're going to try to balance your toes up in the sky. So you're trying to make one straight um, line with your legs. So you can use those um, arms to help support you, or if you're feeling pretty, pretty good with these, you can actually take your arms and uh, push them down on the floor. So you want to try and get your legs as straight up to the ceiling and not back behind you. There you go, Olivia. But now you want to try yeah. and hold it there. So you can use your arms if you need to to hold it there. There you go. So After you've got a little bit of that in, we're going to go ahead. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do our tripod. So you can put your um, pillow in front of you to kind of give your head a little bit of a cushion. But you're gonna put your head down on the ground to balance our knees on our elbows. So I just want you to try to get this stacked position with your knees on top of your elbows and then you can actually Just balance a little bit. So you want to be able to see both your hands from where your head is on the ground. So then you can put your knee on your elbows 
and just slightly lift your feet and try and hold it there as long as you can with your knees still on your elbow. Good, Shire. That looks really good. Shire, can you push up into a headstand? Yeah. That's why I want you to start, since you have your tripod down, you can probably start pushing up into that headstand where you gotta squeeze your tummy muscles, okay? Does that make sense? Can you guys, can you guys see me? Right here. Okay. Um, now we can. Ms. Audrey, could you go ahead and lead a cool down stretch? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. What is happening? Okay. Oh. I want this work. Okay. Let's just roll your arms, your shoulders back. So stand up, roll your shoulders back, and roll them forward. And roll your head side, side, side. Stand up and do it with me, please. And front and back, front back and go up and over. And up and over the other side. And touch your toes. Give your legs a great big hug. And let's roll up slowly. Shake everything out. They did it really good today. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Good job. <laughs>